Growing up with a dad who loved anime, I grew up watching the classics from Naruto to Dragon Ball to Astro Boy. It was an experience I wouldn't trade for anything in this world, and his love for the medium has stayed with me to this day. 20-something years later, I find myself face to face with my little sister, and my family doesn't watch anime together as much as we used to. We've all grown out of the habit, except for me, as you all know. I spend most of my free time with my little sister. So eventually, as fate brings us together, me and my little sister watch our very first anime together. At the time, I needed something that would both keep my little sister's attention and entertain me. I was about done with my 100th Coco Melon video, so it was due time. Conveniently enough, I saw that Ascendance of a Bookworm had an English dub for my sister who still couldn't read at that time and featured a young girl. We were both hooked. Ascendance of a Bookworm features mine who was formerly a librarian in her first life. Even as she draws her last breath, her only wish was to be able to read more books. When she wakes up, she finds herself reincarnated as mine, a frail five-year-old. On top of that, the world she finds herself living in is set in medieval times. Without a printing press, books were an expensive novelty. But mine is determined to get her hands on anything to read, even if she had to reinvent it herself. So against all odds like her weak body, her poor status, or even her lack of resources, mine begins her journey towards obtaining a book. My little sister and I had a blast watching the series through, and we were pleasantly surprised to see how many twists the series had to offer. At the time, only two seasons were out too, and my sister only then learned of the concept of waiting for a new season. Surely enough, a few years later, we continued to season 3, and she grew an even greater appreciation for the series. We've rewatched it together so many times, it's hard to even count how many. The series is solid in the cast, the world building, and the plot. Strangely enough, despite how mundane the plot sounds, the stakes around Mind's journey towards books are quite high. So not only are we rooting towards Mind's happiness, we are also kept at the edge of our seats with each new discovery of how Mind's new world and body works. If Mind fails to ascend as a bookworm, she might even lose her life. With that, this series does have a few heavy moments, but nothing too severe that I wouldn't watch with my own little sister. For the next few series, I haven't watched it yet with my sister due to the lack of English dub, but I plan to once she improves her reading skills. All kids hold an egg in their soul. The egg of our hearts, our would-be selves, yet unseen. Shigukara follows Amu Hinamori, a girl who seems cool but feels insecure and wishes she could be more true to herself. One day, she wakes up to find three magical eggs that hatch into guardian characters, Ran, Miki, and Sue. Each of them are kind of like little chibi versions of who she wants to be. They represent her dreams and goals for the future. With their help, Amu unlocks new powers and embarks on a journey of self-discovery, all while battling an organization that corrupts children's dreams. I don't think it's a secret how much I love this series. It was one of the first anime that my dad watched with me with a girl protagonist. So can you imagine how much my world was flipped upside down to find a character I could resonate with as a young girl myself? Don't get me wrong, I love the other anime I watch with him. But having such limited options as the characters I was supposed to resonate with wasn't that great. Shigokara was the perfect series for me since it still had familiar elements to the other series I watched before. It had action, a fun cast, and villains that I also found sympathy in. But I think what sets it apart from other series within its genre is its heavy themes around dreams and passion. When I was younger, I too struggled with being sure of myself. But this show taught me that my passions, my dreams, my would-be selves was worth fighting for. Whenever Amu and the Guardians saved another kid from falling into despair of giving up their dreams, I saw myself in that kid. She was my very first hero and is still my greatest hero to this day. And I might sound a bit dramatic, but without Shigokara, there is a high chance I would have given up on art and writing a long time ago. But whenever I imagine my little guardian character dying on me, I seem to always find the will to keep going forward. 
My only gripe with this series is unfortunately the age gap between Amu and Ikuto and this weird thing happening between Ikuto and his sister. But romance isn't the focus of the series anyways and the series stays wholesome all the way through. It's just something to keep in mind when watching with young people of course. Aside from that, this series is a fun watch. I can definitely see my sister and I watching a few episodes at a time while we eat dinner together in the future. Since childhood, Mikan had been attached to her friend Hotaru until one day Hotaru is transferred to another school. Mikan, who refuses to be separated from her friend, follows Hotaru and enrolls in the same school as her, only to find that the school is full of students and teachers to have crazy superpowers called Alice's. Welcome to Alice Academy. This anime is so fun to watch seeing all the antics Mikan gets into in her new school. On top of struggling to be a student with no Alice, Mikan also slowly unveils a darker side of the school. The anime doesn't delve too deeply into the heavier sides of the manga, which makes it friendly for the younger audience. I, of course, still recommend the manga over the anime, but perhaps my little sister can wait a few more years for that. Regardless, the anime still offers a fun experience as we get to know the students around Mikan and the shenanigans they get into in Alice Academy. Get your popcorn ready and let's watch anime! I hope that you were able to find some anime today to watch it with your little sister. And if you don't have one, I say enjoy this series regardless. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe for more anime manga content. This has been Day signing out. Keep on dreaming, peeps. Bye!